All right, Shalom Akyam. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And Shalom to the elect out there pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. Uh, this is your brother Yahweh Allah from GMS Chicago coming with another lesson. And uh, in this video, I think I'm going to name it uh, People from All Nations Will Be Saved. <laughs> you know? Because um, cause of a true, of a fact, that's true, man. You know? And that's written right here in Revelation 7, man. You know, you have the elect, uh, which which they're all the elect, man. The elect consists of 144,000 uh, 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 from the 12 tribes. Uh, each um, 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes. And then you have the innumerable multitude, man. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and read it here. It's Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which are sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the, tribe, of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Aser were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephthalim, Nephthalim were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manassas were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Thousand of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed. Twelve thousand. All right, so that's that one hundred and forty-four thousand that are saved. This is gonna be the one forty-four, uh, um, you know, governing body of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh uh, 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 you know, which they're gonna use to go, uh, to govern the, the kingdom of Israel, man. All right. In verse nine, it says, "It says after this I beheld and lo." A great multitude, which no man can number, of nations, of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and songs in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. All right. So this is that innumerable multitude of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues. Stood before the throne, man, and they said Sal salvation to our power. All right. So, yes, you know, you're going to have people from uh, uh, from among the other nations being saved, man. OK, but who exactly is this talking about? All right. How is that so when the Bible all throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament tells you that? That, that the Lord is coming back for Israel, that the Lord is for, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, that salvation is of the Jews, man. All right. Uh, uh, Acts 5 and 30, it says, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the Lord gave his son to uh, uh, wh whom ye hung on a tree to give repentance unto Israel and forgiveness of sin, man. Okay. So how is this so, man? All right. We're going to go over here to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. It says, In that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. All right? So who is the root of Jesse? That's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His real name is Yehoshai. Okay? It says, To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day... That the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Sinar, Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. All right. It says, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations, right? The Gentiles, the nations, right? Should be an ensign for the people. To him shall the Gentiles seek. You know, his people are going to come from all these different, uh, 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 who you would, who are heathen nations. All right, 
It says, and shall set an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast of Israel and shall gather together the disperse of Judah from the four corners of the earth, man. All right. And this was promised, you know, this is something that we can't, we can't just push to the side, man. We can't ignore this. Okay. This was a promise that was given unto the Israelites. All right. Though they were a, a, a an outcast, though they were dispersed amongst the four corners of the earth, among all the nations. Hey, it says the, the hand of the Lord shall be to, to, to bring them back. Okay. So to give understanding, yes, there is going to people, there's going to be people that come out from the other nations that are going to be saved. But guess what? Those people are Israelites, man. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, you know, uh, when you go to another country and you, you establish yourself right there, you end up becoming a citizen. All right. So, so, uh, uh, like Paul, you know, he was a Roman citizen. All right. But yet he was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Okay. So you're going to have people from all the other nations speaking their tongues, being their citizens. But they're actually from the bloodline of Israel who will be saved, man. Okay. I'm just going to go into uh, uh, some more scriptures here. It says Matthew chapter 10 verse 5. It says these 12, uh, um, you know, to give understanding on who the Lord really came for. This is Matthew 10 and 5. These 12 sent, uh, these 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them saying, go not in the way of the Gentiles. Into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And and as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay? So that's who Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, who he sent his uh, 12 apostles to go get. It was the lost house of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. That was that, uh, uh, um, you know, dispersed, man. You know, but this in Isaiah 11 is talking about the second time. The second time to recover the remnant of his people. And that's what's happening now. All right. You can see, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, especially here in Great Millstone, you have what's called confusion of face, man. You know, you got brothers that look like the other nations. But they, they're coming back to the realization that they're Israelites, man. Okay? <clears throat> and that's who the Lord came here to send, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, uh, uh, um, that's why the word of God has to go out to these other nations, man. Because our people are lost in there, man. They're lost, all right? And the Lord came back to, 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 to save those that were lost, man. All right? Came to be that right shepherd. All right. To find back his people. OK. And um, it's like the parable, you know, uh, about the, the shepherd who had 10, 100 sheep and one went missing. You know, he went to go find that other one, man. OK. It was like the parable with the son uh, uh, that stayed and, and the son that left. He was happy when the, when the, when the son came back, man. That's all a parable for Israel coming back, man. That's what the Bible's talking about, man. All right? It's Jeremiah 50 and uh, and 4. It says, In those days and in that time, saith the Lord Yahweh, the children of Israel shall come, they, sh they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek Yahweh their power. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come, and let us join ourselves in the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. All right. And that's what that's what's happening now, man. All right. It says they have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from hill to hill. They have forgotten their resting place, man. And what's, what's the mountains, man? The mountains is these other nations, man. All right. They've forgotten their resting place, man. 
That 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 was a promise unto the Israelites, man. You know that that was a a, a a well, not so much a promise, but but a prophecy that will, what would happen to the Israelites, man. Uh, Jeremiah fourteen and four. It says uh, 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 um, that you shall lose your heritage, man. All right. So so that was prophesied that, that what would happen to Israel, man. And another prophecy, which this is a promise, was that that uh, that the Lord will will bring back Israel from among those nations, man. So it's not a hard thing to to uh, uh, to put one and two together. It was prophesied that the Israelites would be scattered across the four corners of the earth. And, and, and it was also prophesied that, that the Lord will bring them back from the four corners of the earth. Okay. So now when the word is being taught to, to all the nations, guess who it's coming for? I'm going to read it here in John 7 and 33. It says, then said Yahweh unto them. Yet a little while, and I and I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. Then then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will we will he go that we shall not find him? And this is the point. Will he go? It says, Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? Because it was common knowledge that the Israelites were dispersed among the Gentiles. All right. Will he go to the dispersed amongst the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? So he just called the dispersed Gentiles, man. Lumped them all together. All right. So, so, so that's what's going on, man. That's what's going on. You know. The disperse among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles, man. I'm going to keep going. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, um, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. You know, hey, at the end of the day, we got to, uh, uh, you know, with this, you know, it's talking about being a witness unto the nations. Because at the end of the day, we're going to let, you know, uh, the, the heathens, the other nations, know their judgment as well, man. All right? It's, it, it, it's, it serves two purposes, man. That, that we can go unto these nations and bring forth the elect, the Israelites that are part of the elect, uh, um, that are, you know, and, and bring them back to Yahweh Bashim Shai through his word. And also give them their judgment, man. You know, because according to Ezekiel chapter 37 in the last verse, um, the, the, the Lord promised that the heathen will know that, it, uh, that he reigns in the midst of Israel, man. Okay. So, so like there's a promise, like there's a prophecy that the Lord will, will come back and save Israel. Well, there's also a prophecy and a promise that the heathens shall be shall be going to captivity. Read Revelations two and twenty six. All right, that's the New Testament for you. All right, these Christians they don't know the Bible, man. They came up with a fairy tale, and now they 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 feed it to you weekend weekend uh, after weekend on on the on those harlot churches, man. All right, those harlot houses. Okay, you know. Hey, it's like you keep you you repeat something enough, man. People start believing it, man, and it's bullshit. It doesn't come from the Bible, all right. This is the this is the truth, all right. The brothers and, and great millstone bringing forth the word, man. Okay. Um, let's see here. Go to the next scripture. This is Romans eight and sixteen. It says, "The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God." Hey, that, like that's why the scripture says, "Try the spirit by the spirit." All right, so that's how you can tell if these people from the other nations are Israelites, man. If the if the spirit itself beareth witness, man. All right, and uh, um, and, and what does it say in John? It says, "These words that that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they and they, I might as well just get it." Hmm. Um, 
<clears throat> right. It is, it is John 7, John 6 and, and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. All right. So, so that's how you're going to know if they're, if they're Israelites, man. If, if their spirit, if they, if they, if they profit hey, uh, from these words, man. When they hear the words of the Heavenly Father and it resonates with them, man. You know, because those are the those are the true sons, man. You can't make yourself a son. Okay? And, and what proves that we'll, we'll go to it is that the Lord predestinated his elect from the beginning, man. From the beginning. Alright? You can't make yourself into into a, a, the elect, man. That's already been predestinated, man. So if that being said. And you link it up with the prophecies. Well, guess what? The word of the Heavenly Father is going to hold, man. Salvation is for Israel. Okay? Uh, he chose them from the beginning. And these other nations, they're going to go into slavery. Even though some Israelites elect are going to come from those nations. <laughs> you know? The Lord is raw, man. All right? This is Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest, camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, man. So it was all predestined. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, he knew you. All right? He knows, he knows all the spirits that he made, man. And some he made unto honor, you know, and some unto dishonor. All right? As that is written in Romans 9, man. Esau he hated and Jacob he loved. All right. Jacob was to be loved and Esau was to be hated. Okay. And that's that's straight out the Bible, man. All right. I'm going to try to wrap this up here. This is um, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Um it says, Blessed be the, the God of our, and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in HaMashiach, according as He had chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. Okay? He chose His elect to be holy already, without blame. These aren't going to be blamed, though we're all sinners. These will not be blamed. His Their sins are going to be covered. Verse 5, it says, Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach to himself according to the, the good pleasure of his will, man. And we read his will. We read his, his prophecy, man. All right? So, it says, uh, To the praise of of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us acceptable in the beloved man okay so this this all th this thing is all predestinated man so if he predestinated even from the beginning of the foundations of the earth well guess what he knew his prophecies are going to stand and, and even in isaiah 55 and 11 it tells you his word shall not come back void okay i think i got one more for you <clears throat> Is um, finish it off right here in John 4. This is John 4 and 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, man. So, so there you go, man. The scriptures are, are, are plain. They're clear. They let you know. Salvation is of the Jews. There's, there's Israelites among the nations who are going to be saved. And, and, and at the end of the day, hey, you got to be a part of the elect. You have to be part of that predestined. If that word is uh, uh, resonates with you, if that spirit bear, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, these words resonate with you, then there's a high chance you are an Israelite, man. And if you endure until the end, 
the same shall be saved, man. All right. So with that, I hope the elect out there was edified. I want to end by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors, uh, Bahashem, uh, Rechak Wadash, which this is in the name of the Holy uh, uh, Spirit, right? And uh, I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and Shalom to the elect, pushing this word out in truth and in sincerity. To y'all brothers, I say Shalom and a Baba Ball.